In the previous video, we showed how to use the new loopback request node to interact with the MongoDB database through a loopback connector. In this video, we will demonstrate how multiple loopback connectors can be used with loopback request nodes to interact with different backend systems. We will read data from a local MongoDB database using a loopback request node and then insert that data in an external Cloudant database using a different loopback request node. We have already installed the MongoDB loopback connector. Now let's install the Cloudant loopback connector using npm. We need to run the npm command in the node underscore modules directory, which is under the mqsi workpath directory. Now that we have installed the Cloudant loopback connector, we need to update the data sources.json configuration file. The file is used by the loopback request node to look up the connection details for the external system. We already have an entry for my MongoDB database. Let's add an entry for my Cloudant database. The Cloudant service is hosted on Bluemix and it is bound using a loopback application. We can look up the credentials for the Cloudant service through the Loopback Connectors application. We can copy the URL which has the user ID and password defined in it and use that in the data sources.json configuration file. We will define a model that will be used by the Cloudant Loopback Connector. The model file is located in the Cloudant subdirectory under the connectors loopback directory. The name of the model file must match the loopback object name that is defined in the loopback request node. The model defines two extra fields that were not in the MongoDB database. A last update field whose value will automatically be added by the connector. It also has an address field which is a required field also. In the previous video, we retrieved data from a MongoDB database using a loopback request node. We will now extend that flow and add a filter so a particular document is retrieved from the MongoDB database and add that document to the Cloudant database. Firstly, we will add a mapping node and use it to specify the ID of the document in our MongoDB database. Next, we'll add a second loopback request node and reference the Cloudant data source and choose the create operation. When we send a message through the flow, we see that the insert into the Cloudant database failed. An error was reported in the syslog. I can see in the error that the address field was required but it was not in the input message that was used to insert into the Cloudant database. The error occurred as a model had been defined for the Cloudant loopback connector to use but the message did not adhere to that model. The flow must be changed so that an address is added in the message that is sent to Cloudant. We will add a compute node before the second loopback request node. We will augment the message with an address field. When we now send in a message, we can see that the document was read from the MongoDB and created in the Cloudant database. When we log on to our Cloudant system, we can see the document has been added and it has a last update field automatically added. In this tutorial, we have demonstrated how multiple loopback request nodes can be used together to access MongoDB and Cloudant databases. We used a filter so that a particular record could be retrieved. We also defined a model which was used by the Cloudant loopback connector to check that required fields had been specified in the input message.